Hey friends, it's November the 7th, 2013. I want to capture Missy before she decides I want to go back in the house. There, Missy girl. Hi, Missy. Hi, baby. There, Missy guys. I thought I'd put her on film for a minute. Okay, let's get this turned around here and get this video started. Got a lot of things to talk about at this moment. Okay, like I said, it's uh, November the 7th, 2013. YouTube is gone, guys. Google has taken over. Unless you belong to Google+, Plus, you can no longer comment. Uh, what does that mean to me? I'm about done, friends. I will not be owned by the Jews, okay? I have said repeatedly, repeatedly, and people just mock me. They don't understand. Who is in control? John 8, 44 in the Bible. Father of the Jews is the devil and a liar. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge by the Lord. That's what the Lord says to you. 18th century edition of the New Testament King James Jew does not appear one time okay when they talk about uh, freeing my people in the Bible they're talking about the people not a freaking religion when the hell are you people gonna wake up quit supporting these people I'm sick of it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play in this field no more okay Yes, I'm angry. I'm real angry. Unless we find another avenue. I put a video up from an old boy, and it's up right now. And apparently, eBay is caught up in a circuit of bullcrap. And they have posted all of his financial stuff on Gmail in the Hangout. So once you encircle yourselves into this system totally then legally they have a right to use you in any manner any way okay is that what you want to do do you want to be totally controlled by these people and I know people oh we're already controlled hey you do what the hell you want to do okay I am not all right I'm gonna find another way to get out here and talk to you the Lord will show me another place to do this all right I'm getting away from this, all right? I'm no longer going to play in their game. I'm not going to play in their game. Uh, it's, it's, it's total control. I've said it from the beginning, who runs this world. It's called Jew, a religion, a liar. Serving Satan is what they do best. They've infiltrated the government. They've infiltrated every bank. They own everything in this freaking world. Wake up! Am I angry? Yeah, I'm angry. Is this about hate? Hell no, I don't hate them. I wish I could take the control away from them. But there's nobody out there got the balls to stand up to them. They keep serving them. Pastor Paul, he's another one. He serves them. All these, all these evangelists, uh, TVN, all of them, they serve the Jews. Do you not understand this? Every religion... The Lord ain't about religion. The Lord is about serving the Lord. Okay? The people of Israel serve the Lord. Not the Jews. The Jews hate the Lord. That's why they made up all these laws to control and enslave mankind. That's why they keep murdering and killing people. Wake the hell up! Gosh. It comes right down to it and this day has come. For me to really let it go, okay? It doesn't matter anymore if you like me or not. Because I'm just going to tell you the truth. The truth is, you're done for. So the best thing you can do is walk away from it. Walk away with your heart. Serve the Lord. Serve Jesus Christ as your Savior. Quit listening to all the bunk. Because that's what it is, is bunk. They're going to destroy the world. Trust me, they are. 
They're working on it right now. It's insane, guys. It is total insanity. You don't see it. A lot of you don't. And the next time I hear somebody say that they're a chosen people, I'm going to throw up. I swear I am. Jesus was sent here by the Lord, his son, to take the people, the people, the Hebrews, the people, the good people that understood serving the Lord, not Satan, not a bunch of garbage man-made laws and rules in a book. Okay? You people just don't get it. It's almost too late. But you still have a chance. You can serve the Lord. You can, you can listen to Jesus Christ knowing that He is your Savior and the only way to heaven. That's why they won't accept Jesus. And if they won't accept Jesus, I ought to tell you who they're serving. They're serving Satan. The Muslims are serving Satan. All them idiots are serving Satan. The Catholics are serving the Pope. Wake the hell up, people. Who are you serving? Well, I'm no longer going to serve Google and YouTube. I'm telling you that right now. I'm finding another avenue. They probably won't even put this video up. Because they can tell the anger in me. But it's come to that point. It's totally come to this point, guys. That you're going to have to wake up. They're moving fast on us. It doesn't matter what's coming from the heavens. Hell, we're getting enough, we're getting enough right here on earth. That's why something probably tragic will happen. Just to change the course of what's going on. And these people out here, oh, I don't serve anyone. Well, you go ahead and don't serve anyone. Because when you're burning in hell, don't be looking for anybody to reach a hand out and help you. You're not going to get it done unless you find within your heart to search for the Lord himself and Jesus Christ as your Savior. And ask for forgiveness and repentance right now. That's what you need to do. And that's who you need to be with. And don't pay no attention to the rest of this crap. I'm telling you, friends. They're moving fast. They're destroying everything around you. They're destroying your families. 97 million people will lose their insurance over this Obamacare. You know what that means? No insurance. Unless they buy into this Obamacare thing. And they'll be paying for stuff that they don't even want. And it'll cost them a fortune. It's called destroying America. Okay? It's all in motion, guys. Some of you are awake and some of you ain't. You don't get it. All right? I've been really, really quiet about what's going on for, for the simple reason it had to be shown. And today it was shown. It was shown just where they're going with this. And it's not a freaking game anymore. It's a time to get angry and walk away. Let's find somewhere else to do this. Let's not serve the devil any longer. Till they decide, whoever we go, to start messing up too. Or get bought out. Do you not see it? Do you not understand? Everything around you is consumed by these people. And I don't want to hear... Oh, there's some good ones and bad ones. No, they're all bad. If they don't accept Jesus Christ as their Savior, they're bad. And I don't care who you are. If you're not willing to do that, I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Okay? And I'm not praying for you. Because you and the Lord have to deal with it. Not me. Okay? I don't have time for you anymore. I just don't have time. My time is short here on this earth. And the Lord is speaking through me right now to tell you to wake the hell up. Quit being fooled and don't stand around and you don't have the knowledge and, and, and the wisdom. It's there. It's been in your face all along. For generations we've listened to this crap. This country was really thriving at one time. I mean really thriving. It was all to a good start. People had their little homes and log cabins. They had their faith. And who come in? Who come in? Who the hell did they let in with them? The devil. The Satan. Okay? And it ain't been nothing but downhill ever since. 
You would think in a time of 2013 things would be better. Hell, they're getting worse. I've heard, I got word that uh, the homeless are being uh, assassinated in these FEMA camps. Do I have truth to that? No, I don't. But I wouldn't doubt it. I put nothing past nothing anymore, okay? If you know somebody homeless and you know their name, see if you can find them. See if they exist anymore. You know, do yourself a favor. Go on eBay. And if you've done any eBay stuff and finances and stuff, go to Gmail and hang out and see if your pictures and see if your financial stuff is there. Do that favor for me. Is it there? Huh, imagine that. Do you understand what's happening? They're going to own everything, friends. We're one step, one step from the chip, okay? And total in slavery. Don't you believe one moment some asshole out there tells you that you can still get chipped and be saved. You cannot. The Lord was real clear about that. Don't buy into that lie. Quit listening to these lies. You guys want to mock everybody that tries to tell you the truth. That you want to believe all these lies. You love lies. Obama's a liar. Every one of them are liars. They're all liars. That's what they thrived for. It's real clear. John 8, 44. Father of the Jew is the devil and a liar. Imagine that. I wonder why that statement was made. Can you figure it out, guys? They even put it in the New Testament. You know why? Because they're trying to make good and bad, bad and good. No. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, your Savior, you're done. Okay? You're a done person. He come back here, and I've heard people say, well, Jesus is a Jew. He wasn't a Jew. He was brought here to take you away from the religion, take you away from the slavery. Okay? That's why they got rid of him. He wouldn't listen to them. He didn't want to be their king. Okay? That was not his destiny to be the king of the Jews. All right? It's a religion, dummies. It's not a nationality. <laughs> My gosh, people, wake up. You guys are so driven with that crap. I don't care if you think I'm bashing them or not. Yeah, I'm bashing them. I'm sick of being a slave to them. Been my whole life. Been bitching about it all my life. But only if you listen. Let's look at the sun while the sky is clear. Let's have a look at the sunspots. Because maybe the sun will blast us something. A CMM here and just knock out the damn power. Which will be all better for us anyway. <laughs> telling you guys anymore. Take their control away. Take all their records away. Take everything away. We'll survive. Hell, they're already taking, starving the people, taking the money away to feed the children. How much more do you want them to do, guys? And you guys felt sorry for them with that song and dance? That was a song and dance, guys. They're so full of crap. There's our sunspots for today. Look at those bad boys, huh? Maybe that'll be the one that gives a real blast right there. What do you think? Maybe that'll be the one. Maybe that'll be the one to rock out all their systems. Take all their power away. So they can no longer harm children. No longer harm humanity. Let them grub around like everybody else. That their cars don't work and their fancy limousines and their fancy computers and their fancy electronic homes. Their swimming pools and all that crap. That their money and all their circuitry and all their stock markets and crap crash. <laughs> yeah, that would be a wonderful day. Believe me, it would. Well, there's a look at the sun for the day. And there you go. Yeah, you guys go ahead and make mockery of ones that are telling you the truth. You go ahead and make the mockery. You go ahead and fill yourselves full of them lies. That's what you want anyway. You just listen to the Jesse, Je Jesse and all these other people that uh, are part of the lie and all these politicians and crap. All they do is continue to lie to you.
you believe everything they say. They're programmed, man. Every one of them. To feed you like piranha. Okay? The lies and the deceptions goes on. That's what it is. Keep killing them, main and destroying. That's what they do best. That's what they do best, friends. Well, I'm going to close out on this video. And I'm going to say, God bless you. Hug the kids, hug the wife. Remember, Jesus Christ is your only way to heaven, friends. And don't be lied to no more. And we will find another way to communicate. But this is ending, friends, real quick. Hug the kids, hug the wife. The old Marine Vaughn. On November 7th, 2013. The year of our Lord. We love you, friends. God bless you. Bye-bye. Well, how you doing there, YouTube? Uh, just pausing. I'm going to put a quick video. Uh, I have a longer one out that has the police conference uh, today by Ames Police regarding this poor uh, guy's death here. 19-year-old uh, Tyler Comstock was killed by Officer Adam McPherson, authorized by Story County Attorney Stephen Holmes justified the shooting. I do not stand with that as... If the officers felt like their lives were in danger, then why did they uh, total his truck by ramming him? And he wasn't driving erratically, and you know, before the cherries were turned on. The whole high-speed chase or eluding or all this whole uh, policy that they have with law enforcement uh, needs to be changed. No more high-speed chase. You're not allowed to pull us over. Uh, you have different ways of meeting up with us uh, later. And... Uh, and doing your investigations the right way instead of at the barrel of a gun and uh, and the way that you're treating the public is absurd and uh, this is just a, a family argument okay we got down here we got the family reaction family members told KCCI on Wednesday that Comstock shouldn't have died they said Comstock had anger problems they would have returned the truck if officers had stopped pursuing him they said the officer will have to live with the decision to shoot he has to live with the, that for the rest of his life. The guilt of killing another person's family member, which we truly love. This guy was no problem, okay? Not the guy that deserved to have his life removed from this planet. And that's what exactly what you chose to do, Adam McPherson. Okay? And uh, like I said, this other video I'm uploading, I, I recorded on a different device, so it takes a little while to render that one up that I have the uh, police conference on that has the uh, video of the chase itself. So you guys can decide for yourself, you know. Um, uh, should police officers uh, have the authority removed to enforce civil laws? Absolutely. Should they have the authority to carry weapons uh, removed? Absolutely. You know, um, sheriffs can be the guns. You know, if we need guns, then let the sheriffs, the deputies hand, handle things. Uh, and the sheriffs are not handling their counties appropriately and allowing the police to do their jobs. And the police do not have the authority to be armed against the public. These decisions are all made by the county attorney and what they allow their police officers to do. So let's go after this county attorney. If he's a, a, in an elected office, let's get him out of there. Uh... One way or another, he shouldn't have his job anymore either, especially with uh, coming up with a decision of justification so quickly when the public here in Iowa is outraged. You can't even get into the governor's office because of this police conference and everybody's jammed the lines in support of Tyler Comstock and for the arrest and removal of Adam McPherson. All right, and this is not going away. The family should file a civil lawsuit against these uh, police officers, and no police organization should bail them out. Uh, but if America, honestly, uh, America, if you cannot recognize cruel and unusual punishment, perhaps you deserve it. And if you're going to tolerate it, perhaps you deserve it. You know. I mean, you, we need to stand up for ourselves. I mean, I, I, I feel sorry for, like, poor weak people that can't defend themselves and need a defender. All right? And the police like to play that role. But actually, it's your neighbor's role to take over each other. Okay? Not to harm one another, to love your neighbor. Okay?
And uh, this is not the way that they should have handled the situation. They had pre-knowledge of the situation that would have justified the cops backing off and handling it later. Authorities say the investigation is now complete. And they say the investigation is now complete. This is breaking news and is not complete. We're not closing the case on this. Go ahead and put Mr. McPherson back on the street. That's all I got to say.